Hey guys, this video is on what I believe are the top 10 most wanted iOS 5 features. Um, at number 1 we have wireless sync. This is probably the most wanted feature for iOS 5. Um, I will be very surprised if Apple doesn't implement this feature. Um, they have recently allowed it so you can um, stream music from iTunes to iPod Touches, iPhones and iPads. Um, so I am pretty sure that this is the next step up. This should be available in iOS 5. At number 2 we have the notification system. I believe that they will um, do a bit of an overhaul of the notification system. I'm not sh quite sure what they will do yet. Though um, the current system is um, very intrusive. For example, if you're playing a game, um, you can easily you know, be distracted by a text message or, you know, a Twitter push notification. Um, I believe they should take an Android approach. For example, they could have um, an icon in the top, you know, left or right hand corner which flashes and um, you could then, you know, stop what you're doing, pause the application, etc. then check out the notifications at your own will rather than them being forced at you. And um, if the current system is kept, I believe that you should be able to um, reply to SMS messages from the actual push notification um, rather than having to leave the current application you're using. Um, you can obviously already do that on jailbroken phones. Um, number three, I believe there will be improved multitasking. I don't believe that um, Apple will make any major changes. I believe they will um, just do a couple of tweaks. Um, it would be nice if they um, included a single button which would um, close all of the currently open applications um, so you don't have to you know manually um, uncheck them you know manually click the X on all of the applications to close them. Number four an editable dictionary um, you know iOS can eventually learn words that you type though um, the system isn't very sophisticated. For example, if you um, type the word coolies with a capital C in an application that is capable of learning new words and you type it enough times for it to learn the word coolies with a capital C, if you then go and type it with a lowercase c it has no idea what you're talking about so it isn't that sophisticated. Um, I believe that you should um, be able to easily add words to the device's dictionary as you can in Android. Number five, themes. There is no chance of you getting what you see in that picture. Apple is never going to allow that. If you like what you see in that picture, then you should go and jailbreak your device. Um, though I believe that if Apple really wanted to, they could, um, I, like, I believe the only type of themes that Apple would ever allow, if they do ever allow themes, is icon sets and wallpapers. So if they um, bring themes to the iPhone, the iPad, the iPod Touch, it will pretty much be icons bundled with wallpapers. They will never allow anything further than that, and I don't think they will even allow that personally. At number six, photo information. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else has noticed this or not, though, you know, you take pictures, etc., with the camera application. So when you go and view them with the photos application, you can't really you know, find out much information about the um, photos. Like you can't find out the date the picture was taken on or how big the file is. You can get a rough idea if you choose to email the file, though it's not really that good. And you should also be able to um, attach more than one photo um, to an email when sending it. Um, it is annoying if you want to, you know, send 10 pictures to yourself and have to send them each in a separate email you know, clutters your email inbox and yeah, it's not very good, it's not a good implementation. Um, at number seven, lock screen widgets. You should be able to check the weather, your calendar, emails, your SMS messages, your Twitter feed and more from um, the lock screen. And developers should also be allowed to make their own widgets um, and you would obviously be able to enable and disable them because you know some people don't want their emails displayed on their lock screen you know that's one of the things you want to protect in the first place um, and if um, Apple was to allow this um, feature 
um, they definitely wouldn't call them widgets because obviously Android calls them widgets so um, they would come up with some new fancy name and call it revolutionary like they usually do. Um, at number eight, App Store Multitasking. Um, most people probably wouldn't, you know, you know, have a problem with this or they wouldn't care about it. So um, basically when you go to download or install an application, you type in your password, it automatically takes you back to the home screen, which is a bit annoying if you want to, you know, download multiple items and it just wastes um, your time a little bit. Um, this wouldn't um, really annoy the majority um, of iOS users, so I do know a few other people that get annoyed by it too. I suppose we're all pretty pedantic. Um, number nine, zipped folders. Um, you would probably only notice this if you use your iPhone for business purposes. So um, you aren't able to open zipped folders in um, the mail application. Um, you have to um, download you know, a separate app or you can apparently get apps that will open it for you. So I believe that um, I believe that Apple should build some sort of zip file um, functionality into iOS. And at number 10 we have folders. Um, I believe that they should increase um, the application limit for folders because look, you can virtually have an unlimited amount of pages. There is a limit or you can have a lot of pages which you can scroll through. What's the difference between scrolling up and down a folder? There isn't any really. And they should also allow you to create folders within folders. Um, I don't think that Apple is going to um, allow either of those in iOS 5 to be honest, though it's what people want. Okay, what other changes can we expect in iOS 5? Depending on the release of the iPhone 5, the new iOS software may have to support 4G tethering and personal hotspots. There have been rumours of Apple researching RFID technology for a couple of years now. If this technology is implemented in the iPhone 5, the device could be used as a credit card, an identity card, or even as a means to starting your car. Hmm. I would be a bit surprised if this technology was implemented in the iPhone 5. We give Apple another year and it will most likely happen. This would obviously mean big changes for iOS. It is highly likely that there will be new touch gestures in iOS 5 after the inclusion of new touch gestures in iOS 4.3 for the iPad. Uh, that pretty much concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button if you enjoyed watching this video. And if you want to um, receive further videos on iOS 5 and you know, anything Apple related or Android Windows related, then click the subscribe button. Uh, thank you for watching.